What's up? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can connect your new MacBook Air or MacBook Pro. And this one right here is the MacBook Pro with the M1 processor. And I'm gonna show you how you can easily connect it to your favorite monitor or TV. Let's jump right in. So hey there, what's up? Hope you're doing really good today. My name is Sergio with Surge Tech. In this channel, I do a lot of reviews and tutorials. So if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and make sure you do so and hit the bell so that you can get notified every time I release a new video. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, go ahead and do so at surge.tech. And without further ado, let's jump into the video. All right, so you may have bought yourself a new MacBook Air or MacBook Pro, and you'll notice that the only slots it has are USB Type-C slots. Uh, and it's not gonna have any other USB or SD slots or HDMI ports. All you need to get is this item right here. It's, uh, it's called the Hub Pro by Surge Tech. It's gonna be a link to it down below in the description. And I'm gonna show you really quickly how easy it is to use. So this is it right here. A nice sleek looking hub. They come in silver or space gray so they can match the color of your MacBook. Aside from it bringing all of the major inputs that we usually need like micro SD card slot, SD card slot, regular USB slot, and also the two USB-C and lightning ports. It's also gonna come with the HDMI port. This is what we're gonna to use to simply connect a HDMI cable on this end and the other end of the HDMI cable to your TV or monitor so that you can use your MacBook on a bigger display. So let's go ahead and show you how easily it is to connect. All right, so first thing you wanna do is make sure that you power on your TV. And next thing you wanna do is go ahead and make sure that your Hub Pro is connected to the MacBook. Okay, and then it's super simple. All you're gonna do is connect uh, one side of the HDMI cable to the back here of the Hub Pro, and then connect the other side of the HDMI cable to your TV. Okay, make sure you place your TV on the right channel, and if it is, it should automatically connect to your MacBook Pro. Okay, uh, so here is the uh, MacBook Pro. As you can see, we can see it here uh, on the uh, big screen TV here. Um, so what you may also wanna do is uh, you're going to want to click on the Apple here to set it up properly. Go to System Preferences. Here you will select Displays. All right, so as you can see right now, I have the TV set up as a second display. I can move from the MacBook display. as uh, You probably can't see the arrow here, but it's on the MacBook. And if I slide it to the right, it's going to pop up on the TV display here. So this is to set it up for two displays. This is one way you can set it up or you can also set it up so that it can mirror whatever you have on your MacBook. And that's what we're gonna do here in System Preferences and then in Display, you go to where it says Arrangement right here and just select Mirror Displays. And once you do that, everything uh, that's on your MacBook screen will be mirrored onto your TV. So once you do that, if you, that's how you wanna leave it, you can just exit out. So you can go ahead now and go to whatever website you want to use, uh, maybe Netflix or YouTube. So there you go, as you can see, uh, you'll be able to you know, see whatever it is you're watching on your MacBook display, you'll be able to watch it on your big screen TV. And one thing I'm noticing here, the sound is not transferring over properly, so that's something that you're also gonna have to configure here. All right, so we're gonna go once again up here to the Apple System Preferences, Go to where it says sound, and then here you're gonna select the display that you're connected to. So since this is a TV here, Vizio T, I'm guessing it's this one right here because the other option is the MacBook Pro speakers, uh, and that's not what we wanna use. We wanna change it over to the TV speakers. So we'll select this one. Once you press play, just go ahead and uh, press the volume up buttons on your TV, and the volume will come out of your TV or monitor speakers. And once you're done with your Hub Pro, just go ahead and disconnect it and it comes out like that, super simple. In the event that you wanna store it, or you can just leave it on there to continue using it. You know, it fits right in with your MacBook and doesn't uh, really bother or take up any space on the MacBook. All right, everyone, so that is how you can easily connect your new MacBook Pro or MacBook Air to a TV or monitor. So let me know in the comments down below if you think the Hub Pro is a very useful item for the MacBook and if you're thinking about getting it, and that's all I got for this video. I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, peace.